beer. It is a familiar theme on college campuses and inside nightclubs. But these days, a growing number of healthy young men is going for a different kind of high. One that doesn't distort the mind, but has a major effect on the body. It's something that is floating around almost like an illegal drug. I've just decided to give one a try. It took about 45 minutes or an hour to kick in. You know, it's kind of, you know. Yep, this little blue tablet. People are going and taking it from Dad's drawer. Originally engineered to help impotent men. They're bringing it up to the clubs and are spreading it around to their friends. It's now being used as a party pill. It does tend to last for quite a long time, uh, 10 to 12 hours. 10 to 12 hours. 10 to 12 hours strong. It's probably an exaggeration. Urologist Sam Little anticipated this trend when Viagra was introduced two years ago, but he believes the new wave of Viagra users is the result of misconceptions about the drug's potential. I think there's a tremendous placebo effect with, with things like this, and if people expect that they will perform better, uh, literally, you can give them a sugar pill and they will perform better. That's not stopping men in their 20s, 30s, and 40s from experimenting. Did you feel like you were back in high school? Yeah, that's certainly great. This 35-year-old executive claims he has no sexual dysfunction. And just kind of uncontrollably pops up. But popped a pill to enhance the experience. I guess I was in Academy Award performance that night. But you know what they say about too much of a good thing. If abused or taken with antacids, nitrates, or some other street drugs, Doctors warn there can be complications. If they also take Viagra, they may, some of those men may experience a sudden and significant drop in blood pressure. And for a person who has heart disease already, that could be a very serious thing. Still, many young men are willing to take that risk as long as they continue to reap the benefits. It's like running the Boston Marathon. And after you cross the finish line, you want to stop. But you just have to keep going and going and going and going.